a U. Yes, U. I was finally able to get my hands on an Amiga 500. And if you find yourself thinking what in the father of all GPUs an Amiga 500 is, it is nothing else than your early days gaming computer, which I almost disintegrated. But believe it or not, before the days of absolute master race of modern GPUs and generative AI, leading us to a total dystopic world, is what kept people entertained for long days or by just watching the screen for infinite loading of floppy disks that some of you knows from the save icon and some of us know for playing games on them. The Amiga had all of its manuals and stuff inside the box, and the seller was also kind enough to give me the Gotek for the unit, which has never used before. The Gotek is basically a direct replacement for the floppy drive. It allows you to play games from USB instead of floppy, which should be a little bit faster but don't top for higher speed because the hardware it is what it is. Now as you can see this Amiga is in really good condition and it works pretty well. I already tested it and there is nothing more to say. So you know I'm a curious person. You already know what comes next, we are going to move to my desk and we are going to crack this open. Oh, I also got a bunch of floppy disks with it, but we are going, we are not going to use or show them for now. So let's get rid of them. Let's see what mesmerizing things we are going to find inside it. I expect it to be literally a pristine board. So let's go and check. I say that the Gotek was a direct replacement for the floppy drive, however we are going to do a different thing and we are going to leave this chip. What we are going to do instead is build a mod chip that will allow me to dual boot my Amiga and instead of replacing the entire floppy drive I will just be able to externally run the Gotek and play games whenever I want, choosing between floppies and USB. This will keep the originality of the Amiga intact and will not cause any trouble to the system. So if anyone will ever start this system in the future, it will start as a normal Amiga and they will find a little surprise inside. The mod is almost ready, however we will need to program this little chip here, which will finally allow us to dual boot the system. To program the chip and using this programmer I got from AliExpress, which is AT48. Moving forward I'm going to the original mod chip uh, uh, page, where you can find also the, um, the PCB and all the parts needed for the, for the mod chip, and we are going to download the uh, X file we need to program uh, the, the chip with. And as you can see, this is the mode. And we have two files, primary uh, internal and primary external. What does this mean? Uh, this means that we can choose if we want uh, our chip to boot first the external drive when we turn on the Amiga the first time, or uh, the internal drive, like normally. 
Now I'm gonna search for the chip that I'm using on the board so we can program it uh, the right way. I'm gonna search my chip type by its uh, serial number and once it pop in the device, I'm gonna select it. Now I can load my uh, file I downloaded before and I will choose uh, from here the browse, the internal as I said before and I can finally click OK. Now from here we can program our chip as you can see, uh, there is a bunch of uh, um, X codes now in the uh, in the screen. And now, after I click Program, uh, there is a bunch of options. I will leave all on default settings and just click Program. And now it's just a matter of waiting. It doesn't take long. The chip is ready, and I can now put it in the mode. And let's try this on the Amiga. Finally, we can see this thing up and working now. As you can see, this will now boot normally and it will start uh, reading the workbench floppy disk. The main reason on why you want to get a GoTech is because floppy drives usually die after some times, even if you don't use them. In fact, the floppy drive in this Amiga has been already changed by the previous owner. Once the system will boot, you will see that we will have a workbench, which is the floppy we are running right now and it will load just fine, but it will take some time, as floppy drives are really 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 slow. You can hear the noise of the loading in the background. Now, the moment of truth, let's connect the GoTech and let's see if everything works flawlessly. As you can see, I had to remove a screw from behind, but this is no issue and this will allow me to fit the GoTech externally. If we now turn on the Amiga, it will turn on as well, but it will do nothing for now and it will just proceed to boot into the normal floppy drive. Now let's connect a USB with uh, its files. So this USB contains the file system and the games. If the Amiga boots into the normal system with the GoTech with the game loaded in, we will see the game on the desktop. If we try to double click on it and run it, we will see a blank window. So this will do absolutely nothing. We cannot run the games this way, just like a normal computer. So we have to turn off the console and using our mod chip, we will need to press three times the two system buttons plus a CTRL. It will boot into the external drive. And so it will load into the game Killing Machine. This avoids any disruptive changes, such as mounting your GoTech inside the Amiga, cutting up the case, or drilling any holes to put a switch button, a jumper button to uh, run the external drive by jumping and shorting the chip together. Now, if we turn off the Amiga again and we try to run on 000 the GoTech, it will boot us into the GoTech interface. So we can now um, uh, choose what game on what slot we can set 
uh, from here. So the Amiga is a really cool uh, retro game system to have. However, if you're not used to really long uh, loading times, I do not recommend to you the real experience and instead use an emulator. If you're watching this video because you are considering getting an Amiga and play on it, this is the best way to go. It is a really practical way to have your games all in one place, load a little bit faster and do not uh, unmount your original floppy drive if you ever want to play on your floppy drive or do something else with your Amiga. So guys, this is really the end of it. I hope you enjoyed the process as much of me and I thank you for watching this video. And as always, don't forget to join our Discord community, check out my Patreon and click subscribe. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.